Hey guys, thank you again for tuning into the channel. On this occasion, I'm going to show you guys how my experience went uh, as far as going out to photograph the wildlife, uh, the sea life out in the ocean on a boat, basically. So, as you can see here, it wasn't all by myself. I was on boat tours with the uh, Channel Island Packers Company. They are the ones that take people out to the Channel Islands and go see the wildlife and so on and so forth. They also take you back and forth from the islands so you can stay camping but on this video I'm just gonna be showing you what we did taking pictures of just wildlife and I ended up taking three different tours to give myself the most opportunity to capture the most that I could I initially had planned to go with private tours uh, private photographers to go out there but as usual as it is with these national parks and nowadays how the way things are you have to have plan a b c and even a plan d out there just in case thankfully i had some of those already uh planned because let's start with channel islands uh anacapa island in itself was actually unavailable to us the dock yes the docking area for anacapa actually had to go on the repair for uh, I'm not sure maybe weather related or just corrosive but anyways we were not able to dock on the island so that was the first hit for us on that trip now when that happened I had already booked my trips to Channel Islands and all that stuff so I wasn't gonna cancel my trip because of that I just decided well we just skipped that island no big deal I just want to point that out just to show you guys that that's usually things like that usually happen in in these national parks I mean I've been I've been to a lot of national parks at this point in my life and we even went to a national park once and when we arrived there the government went into a shutdown and we were not able to go into the park so that happens and I've learned not to get upset about that I don't let that predict the outcome of my trip I just find something else and try and make it happen I try to be a very positive person I don't let things like that hold me back hold me down it's just not worth it so with all that said this was kind of a the same situation i had a couple of trips that were canceled due to weather we also had as i stated before anacapa island was unavailable to us and we also had um a couple of boat trips with photographers that are like seek their boat captains and they have their own boats and one of them just couldn't go because of the weather at the time. And then the other one, the actual day that we were supposed to go, his boat actually broke. So that was that was my luck. Uh, the reason I wanted to go with photographers were so I can pick their brain. You know, obviously they know more than me. They're out there all the time photographing this type of wildlife from boats. Uh, the different conditions, the length, the speed that uh, I would have to photograph. So I wanted to pick their brain. It didn't happen, so... I was on my own. Thankfully, I, I feel like I was able to overcome that. And I, I feel like I did okay. I, I, I took some pretty decent pictures. There was a learning curve. I missed a lot of pictures. But as I said, I gave myself like three different opportunities to go on these boat tours and improve as I got, as I got more exposure. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think.
so there you have it guys that was a actual seal that was out there near one of the uh, oil rigs and he was just so happy to see us was jumping all over the place and it was just hilarious to witness so I hope you guys like that and here are some more pictures from the Anacapa Island area So I do feel like we got pretty lucky out there. We were able to have a lot of dolphins follow the boat, uh, riding the wake of the boat. We also had a few feeding frenzies going on at the same, all at the same time too, which was pretty insane to actually witness. It was overwhelming is the actual word. Uh, obviously when you're out there shooting this type of photography, you have to shoot a lot. You're probably going to miss a lot of pictures, but you're going to hit on a few as well. And there's there's just no no other no other way to do it. Not that I know of, anyways. Uh, you have no idea when the dolphins are gonna jump out of the water, or when the whales are gonna jump out of the water. You're just kind of sitting there shooting, and as soon as something moves, you just press that shutter and let it rip. Uh, the only thing I played with here was the shutter speed and the ISO. Uh, I shot pretty much. Yeah, I would say everything about f8 because you want to have enough depth of field for whatever you're doing so but that's how it went and obviously here i'll show you some some pictures and some of the video that i took I went ahead and included that clip so you guys could see what live action looked like. This next photo is a composite. I included a few extra dolphins than what was actually there. And sometimes I like to stretch my creative muscle and see what happens. Let me know what you guys think.
and that's going to be it for this video guys i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video and to accompany us in our journey i hope you guys like this content and if you do please give it a like uh subscribe to the channel and leave a comment thank you very much for taking the time to watch until next video guys thanks